Now I gotta give y'all a real review, all right? We're gonna mix a little bit of everything. We're gonna get some ice cream. We're gonna get a gummy worm in there. What we got here, man. So we have the best making we've ever had, uh, given to us by our brother, uh, my brother Michael Bright. Started it as a school project, exploded into this amazing, massive business called Bacon Zest. We're in multiple stores, we're in talks with more Crossroads Markets, Green Acres Markets. If you're in KC and Olathe, we have a Kansas City Barbecue Store, uh, KC Grilling Company, and more. So check us out. We're out here today at First Fridays. All right. So now I'm I'm really gonna see if these guys got the best bacon I ever had. All right. This is the fan favorite right here. This is our honey barbecue. That one's sort of designed to remind you of a warm Sunday morning breakfast, Sunday morning brunch. You know, eggs, bacon, pancakes, the whole shebang. That's really uh, popular, especially amongst our young crowd. They really just like them. That one sells out the most. And here's our and he just hooked you up with our second flavor. This is our sweet barbecue. This is uh, really popular amongst uh, people a little bit older than kids. Uh, if you go to a restaurant order something like, let's say, uh, barbecue chicken wings, that's sort of the flavor you might be reminded of. <laughs> now, this is our third and final flavor. Got a little bit of a kick to it, so don't worry, it's not gonna scare you. That one has, uh, our, that one is our classic barbecue. That one is sort of designed to remind you of that regular classic Kansas City barbecue uh, feel. Really popular amongst our 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, our grilling holidays. Okay. So the great thing about this is it's not the bacon that makes it flavor, it's the seasoning. Okay. So I've had chefs use it on chicken, pulled chicken, pulled pork, sauteed veggies. I personally use it on sometimes my eggs. I use it on all different types of things. So when you're getting this, you're not just getting the uh, the bacon only. It can work on a variety of different things. So, right. if you don't mind me asking, what was your favorite? This one right here, the sweet barbecue, that's my favorite. Yeah? That was the favorite right there, man. So, I'm gonna get that one. So, you got number one right that's here? That's one, one two, two, and I think three, three. right there. Really? Okay. Honey okay. barbecue. I'm, I'm one, two, and three. That's oh, me. What? Yeah. That one right there, that one is yeah, good. Yeah, that one's that was tough. Let me do a three. I'm gonna get all three of them. Okay, oh, okay. We'll so, we'll get you up with the deal. We'll do the three for 20. Yep. So, make sure you guys, man, you go check out the bacon sets, boy. You know what I'm saying? It's not the bacon that makes it good, it's the season. So my favorite was the sweet barbecue. All right, so that's number that's number one. Number two was the classic barbecue. That's the one with a little bit of a kick to it. And then number three was the honey barbecue. Also good, but they all good. Might have to put them all together, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to those guys, make sure you guys go support those guys. You heard where they're all at. And uh, we're gonna move on down to this next food truck really quick. So we'll meet y'all there. Take a little minute, but it's cool though. You know what I'm saying? They just need a little bit more help, but that's good. If you're if you're not busy, then you're not doing something right. Let's get right into the review. All right. All right. We got the oyster po' boy. Uh, we were gonna get the gator po' boy. I can't say that. Right. We were gonna get the gator po' 
bow boy, but they were out of it. So we got the oyster one, switch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna try it without this sauce first, and then I'll try it with some sauce. But I think it already got sauce on it. It's not bad. Definitely probably need some sauce, but uh, it's good though. It's really good. Nice and fried, like perfectly, not overdone. It's actually really good. What I can say is these fries are A1 though. They probably have the best fries on a food truck that we've had. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and put the sauce right on mine. But then I'm gonna, I'm gonna spike it up. I might throw some fries on this joint. All right, here we go, you know what I'm saying? From the old boy, old boy, got the little sauce in this joint. Got a real nice like crunch on there. That sauce. That sauce is banging. <laughs> Not bad. We never heard of them before. They're pretty good. I will recommend them. First Friday is, isn't only about food, it's about like a small entrepreneur trying to get their name out here, um, you know, and just try to be successful, be something more than just a nine to five worker, you know? So man, make sure you guys all, whenever you come down here, don't only just get the food, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you come down here and buy a piece of merchandise, um, poster, something like that. You know, make somebody's day. Don't gotta be, you know, the the four or five hundred dollars. You gotta purchase something for fifty dollars. Even if you buy something from somebody for two, three dollars, you know what I mean? It makes them feel, it makes them feel welcome. So, you know, make sure you come out here and support small businesses. Man, that's gonna close it out this first Fridays, so we can enjoy the rest of the night. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, and we're out of here.